so rare that no one knows it exists. Imagine further that this instrument is so large that it weighs several tons, making it next to impossible to perform indoors. To complicate matters, imagine that you want to combine this unknown musical instrument with other instruments for the first time in history. What has just been described is the mystery and magic of cast in bronze.
Spells out near you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's over in Dallas. They've got quite a few of them over there. Uh, really? The Cathedral Sanctuary of the right, Guadalupe. Mm hmm. They've got a really okay. nice set there. Highland Park Church or something? Highland Park, yeah. And then over in Fort Worth over there at St. Patrick's Cathedral, too. Okay, I know. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, this is a great one to have signed. Yes, I do. The uh, liner notes tell the story of how I got the Carolina. So. Thank you very much. I enjoy certainly it. enjoyed it. <laughs> Howdy, howdy, enjoyed it. So what, about how much this thing cost and what's the details well, on it? Huh? It's probably at this point, and it was a lot cheaper when, when we got it 30 years ago, but at this point it's probably about six figures, low six figures, high five figures. Wow. Yeah. You know, uh, bronze yeah. has gotten more expensive. Since All the price of metal have gone up. Uh, yeah. That's and, right. You were describing some of the bells are really weigh quite a bit and everything. They go up to 600 pounds here, and uh, if you look at carillons around the country, the biggest carillon bell is 20 tons. So they do get quite a bit bigger than, than this one, wow. but um, you can't really travel with that one <laughs> very easily. Yeah. So like who puts these together? A mm. um, number of different companies do it. Burden in the States will do it. Um, Meeks and Watson is another company that will make it. East of Cincinnati. So who's the man behind the mystery mask? <laughs> well, it would be a mystery mask if I told you that. But my name is John. Uh, John?